Hi everyone, my name is Shatabdi Sain and I am a PhD student at Iowa State University. I am honored to present my poster titled Maze Feature Store, a graphical user interface with multi-omics data integration and machine learning application for the maze genome classifications. The big data analysis of multi-omics data associated with maize genomes is increasingly utilized to accelerate genetic research and improve agronomic traits. This large-scale omics data has also accelerated the application of machine learning in plant sciences, resulting in a slew of papers and reviews as exhibited in this bar chart by Benos. There has been particular interest in maize, and this interest can be attributed to the fact that it is grown in many parts of the world and has a variety of uses. Although multi-omics datasets are easily accessible via the existing databases such as Grameen, Maze GDB, and many more, but they are generally scattered or come in a format such as the general feature format or the VCF format that cannot be readily used for several downstream analysis and more particularly for the gene level downstream analysis. Users who wish to apply modeling to these multi-omics datasets must spend considerable time collecting, cleaning, and aggregating these datasets before applying them for model training. Therefore, in our work, we present Maze Feature Store, a NoSQL-based modular and dynamic user interface for systematically integrating and analyzing over 14,000 gene-based features based on the most recent Maze reference genome. We demonstrate to non-experts how Maze Feature Store provides a suite of methods and modeling modules, enabling users to find meaningful patterns from the Maze Omics data. This is the graphical overview of Maze Feature Store. The Maze Feature Store comprises of three main modules, the Feature Module, the Downstream Analysis Module, and the Modeling Module. We assembled omics feature associated with each gene model in Xiaomi's based on various sources as indicated by the dataset's arrows of the figure. Many preliminary and advanced exploratory analysis can be performed on the generated features as indicated by the exploratory analysis module of the figure. Systematic evaluation of the machine learning approaches is used in the modeling section to solve complex biological annotation problems. Here we showcase how each of the modules can be accessed interactively through a user interface. The three main modules of Maze Feature Stores are made available via different drop-down menus to the users along with detailed descriptions of the dataset and the analysis. For example, the Features and Analysis module is divided into eight main subsections to incorporate the variety of multi-omics dataset such as the gene structural features, gene sequence features, expression features, and many more. Users can select their desired features and labels in each subsection and carry out a wide range of analysis in the form of tables and graphs. The model section consists of machine learning models as a web service. As a use case, we provide two models, the advanced model trained on the entire subset of omics data and the basic model trained on just the gene sequence and structural features. The aim was to classify the maze genes as core and non-core, so users can input the specific gene model properties into the HTML form and click on the Submit button. When the Submit button is clicked, a prediction of whether the gene model is core or non-core is provided at the bottom of the HTML page with a probability score. The next objective of the Maze Feature Store is to also understand the underlying mechanism associated with the target annotations or labels available as a part of the interface, such as seeing properties common among the classical genes or the other genes, or common properties among the whole genome duplicated genes or tandem duplicates, and also properties that are common among the core genes, near core genes, dispensable genes, or the private genes. We also aim to build several machine learning models to predict the annotation of future genes in maize or other closely related plant species. To demonstrate the utility of maize feature store, we critically discuss the application of maize feature store in pan genome analysis using only a single reference genome. The pan genome represents the entire set of genes within a species consisting of core genome containing gene models that are shared between all individuals of the species 
and the non-core genome that are made up of gene model occurring in most some or single genome. Plant genomes are highly dynamic and several challenges remain to be overcome before cost-effective and rapid pan-genome construction is possible. Therefore, our applications modeling module aims to tackle problems associated with pan-genome analysis by applying machine learning algorithm and classifying genes as core or non-core in a new genome using only multi-omics data associated with the genes. We built two models utilizing the maze feature store omics dataset, an advanced model that was trained using all the generated omics features and a more generic basic model trained using just the sequence or the gene structural features, as these features are easily obtained for any gene model. Overall, both the advanced model and the basic model had decent performance, but the advanced model outperformed the basic model, exhibiting an accuracy of around 89%. In our advanced model, both the extrinsic and the intrinsic features contributed substantially to the core or non-core gene predictions. The top 25 omics features that were most predictive in classifying a gene as core and non-core for both the advanced and the basic model are displayed in figure A and in figure B. The figure C and D exhibits the prediction performance of both the advanced model and the basic model respectively. To conclude, the centralized dataset in maze feature store enabled us to not just classify the maze gene models as core or non-core, but also enabled us to gain insights into the biology of these genes and the common properties among them, such as core genes are generally highly or broadly expressed, or core genes are slowly evolving, and so on. Through the basic and the advanced model, we learned that an elaborate assembly of intrinsic and extrinsic factors covering multiple aspects of the gene model greatly outperforms the approach based solely on sequence and structural features. Also, our final pan-genome model or the advanced pan-genome model had an accuracy of around 89% in classifying whether a gene model is core gene or a non-core gene. To access the functionality of Maze Feature Store, we, you can easily access through the Maze GDB link that is provided. For future, we aim to utilize the centralized database to solve other complex genome annotation problems such as predicting genes to be biotic or abiotic stress-related genes or identifying lethal or non-lethal genes and many more. We also aim to construct several within and cross-species prediction models using this dataset and continue contributing towards accelerating agronomic research. Thank you, and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions and discuss further.